Hi there, I'm Andrew Brown. Welcome to uh, Real Time Music and Sound with Pure Data. In this video, we're looking again at the Live Coding Toolkit for Pure Data. This is part of a series on the Live Coding Toolkit. In order to follow along with this video, you'll need to download the Live Coding Toolkit. Uh, you can do so from this GitHub site. When you have downloaded uh, that uh, toolkit, Make sure that you go to Preferences in Pure Data and make sure that the path is set so that the um, folder which has got the Live Coding Toolkit in it is um, listed in your path so that PD can find it. In this video, we're going to particularly be looking at the direct uh, object in the Live Coding Toolkit. Um, it does a kind of state transition network, um, allows you to redirect paths from part to part. We'll be looking at it in relation to the overall structure and also some sub structures within one of the parts. Um, we'll be doing this um, via MIDI out from the Live Coding Toolkit to a Yamaha Disclavia piano. And um, because we're using an acoustic piano, um, we'll be modeling a lot of the work that we're doing here on Bella Bartok's Microcosmos um, pieces. So um, you'll see as we go through that some of the harmony rhythms and um, metric structures from the microcosmos will be featured uh, or at least inspired um, in terms of the uh, live coding practices that we do in this video. Okay, let's um, get started. We'll begin by um, creating some of the general infrastructure and some of the work for the right hand um, kind of part. So we've got a metronome to create our tempo. I'm going to use the first of our direct objects here, but we won't yet make it do very much. We'll come back to it. This one will direct activities between some um, components, but we need to create those components first. So we're going to use a cycle um, object give it some default values and it's going to get the data passed through to it um, and from there we'll make a gate which will restrict uh, some of the throughput I'm then going to put a transposition thing which for the moment we'll just leave as doing not much um, and we'll quantize the pitch of the output we're going to be using uh, in this uh, example uh, some of the sort of stylistic things from Bella Bartok's Microcosmos and one of the interesting features there is some interesting scales. This one's kind of a mixture of major and uh, whole tone scales and that will go out to um, the MIDI output which is connected to our Disclavia piano. Okay. So that's all good. Um, if we start this, we might just also create some variety for our velocity while we're here. Um, we use the middle outlet of the RAND, which is a Gaussian output, and we'll trigger that from the tempo as well. So this should just play a sort of static tone for us. Actually, I might change the pitch of that tone. All right. So we need to make that not just simply play um, a single note, but to play a sequence. So I'm going to randomly generate a sequence. Um, another feature of the Microcosmos is use of uh, odd time signatures. So we're going to make it 11 steps long. Middle frequency or pitch of 72, diverse an octave either side. Um, of that. Um, this random sequence can then connect to our cycle object and we can bang that to get that going. And every time we want a new random sequence we can just bang that. Um, so because we want that to happen reasonably frequently we'll automate that process. So 
every 32 steps we'll get it to re-trigger a new sequence okay so that's our kind of first part um, we'll create a second part to contrast that and then we'll be using this direct to change between those two parts so the second part we'll do over here to the right um, we use another direct for that because we're going to use this to redirect parts between two smaller sort of sub parts so I'm going to use bangs for outlets 0 and 1 or 1 and 2 in order to make the redirect work um, the right inlet redirects out so this way we're setting up a um, so like a petri network it's when it comes out of there it's going to resend the next thing out to this the second outlet um, and then whenever we go out the second outlet we'll randomly choose either the first or the second outlet so that way we're setting up this kind of slightly random um, activity in terms of the direction that's going out the redirect so we're going to specify some pitches over here uh, this will be for the first part um, and again we want to quantize those we're just going to do um, this will be kind of a left hand part and we'll use sort of pretty much a major kind of scale here um, and compared to this sort of slightly minor whole tone thing here which is another feature of the microcosmos this kind of poly modality um, that went on that can then get connected there and for the other part in this section I'm going to generate random chords three note chords centered around pitch 72 up and down an octave and then we need to put in the pitch class that we're going to constrain to is the same one we used earlier okay what have I got wrong here some spelled random chord there we go it's more like it um, so that comes out from the second outlet and goes in like so so now we're in a stage where we can redirect our tempo over to this side in order to do that redirection we need to tell the direct object to go out to the other side oops uh, let's do that again don't want any fractional numbers Okay, just going to restrict that so that it doesn't go any far. And then when we go back to zero, it goes back to our melody and then shifts to our other kind of more pointillistic kind of part. And we want that change to be also automated. So again, whenever we find that there, okay, so that's now going to move back and forth between those two parts in that way. So we're going to put our attention back to our first part and create, in a sense, a sort of a second hand um, that's going along with this. So I'm going to copy this to make a sort of second basis of a second section for this. We want to insert um, a transposition there. Um, and we need to update the pitch class set that we're using. Now this will be our kind of major-ish one. So that's all good and well. Send that out to the MIDI. Um, and we're going to be using the same cycle to trigger this. I'm 
because we don't want them to be quite as parallel perhaps as they currently are we'll randomize this transposition a little bit that will get triggered from here okay so that's our work so far now we need to sort of modulate the whole overall thing a little bit more so I'm going to use uh, one of the periodic objects from the live coding toolkit um, and this is going to do a sort of sine wave kind of change by default um, so we're going to drive it from here and we're going to take this back to the tempo so this is actually going to modulate the tempo we might use this periodic wave as an overall shaping so as it gets slower it might get softer as it gets faster it might get louder and things like that I'm going to start by using it to do some automation of the transposition just to provide more pitch variety so that's going to go up here to this transposition there and to that transposition there we might also use it um, to change our velocity So the velocity will vary as we go. Um, another thing we might do is to change the duration of notes um, at certain times. I'm going to make it so that when we get the from the tempo, we can grab. that's making it much shorter we also want an option to make it a bit longer just so that we get some variety there whenever that direct is selected over to the right we'll make it short and whenever this one is selected we'll make it longer Then we might use our go back to our periodic now and use it to control the um, difference in the gate amounts so that we're getting thinner and more rich textures. So I'm going to use the periodic output with a scaled function to change that gate amount. Oops, that should be my mistake. That should be an object. Let's try that again. And we can do a similar thing by a slightly different amount to change what's going on over on our other part. And you can hear that the tempo is varying there and it's getting softer and slower. Now faster and louder. bit of a close. I'm just going to 
slow the tempo down. the end. So thanks very much. Um, have fun playing with that and I will see you in the next video.